Three Steps to Get a Job in Australia It is no secret that applying for a visa can be nerve-wracking, with more paperwork than one can handle. While immigrating to a certain country, people are mainly concerned about finding a job and managing their expenses to maintain a good lifestyle. The same applies to Australia since you have to go through different steps to become eligible for an Australian work visa. In this video, we'll talk about all the steps you must follow to migrate successfully to Australia for work. Looking to work abroad? Comment down below from which country you are applying from. Three steps you must follow to migrate to Australia for work successfully are as follows. Firstly, you must go through a skills assessment. It is essential to verify your qualifications before applying for a job or approaching an employer. While skills assessment is not necessarily a test, your occupation is the main factor in determining whether you should get your qualifications accredited to the regulations of Australia. Moreover, your work experience is also considered to confirm your seniority in a job role. Depending on the demand, a skills assessment could exceed for as long as 30 days to 6 months. One of the main benefits of taking a skills assessment is that it acts as proof of your commitment to migrate to Australia for work. It is less likely to be delayed for longer periods since it is required for visa processing. Secondly, you have to take an English test. It does not matter if you have a qualification in English. Everyone is required to take the test. However, various English tests are accepted by Australia. Moreover, the level you are required to pass depends on your profession. Anyone who performs well on the test confirms their communication level and commitment. Individuals applying for residency must take an English test, so doing it beforehand gives you an edge. Plus, it proves how dedicated you are to working in Australia. At last, comes finalizing your visa type. Telling your potential employer about your visa type beforehand proves beneficial for you and your application. One of the common visas is a 482 subclass, which is a temporary work permit. Anyone who submits a 482 visa must also attach their completed skills assessment. On the other hand, the 186 subclass gives you a permanent status, and it is a direct entry stream. What's important to note here is that both visa options restrict an applicant from finding employment elsewhere. Regardless, they are pretty helpful in allowing applicants to find good jobs successfully. You need to get a sponsorship agreement, as well as a nomination certificate from an employer for these visa options since they are both sponsored by employers. A benefit of availing these options is that it keeps you aware of the entire paperwork, giving you more control over your job contract, financial condition, and visa. You must understand that going through these steps is essential for you to secure an Australian work permit and live a better life. Moreover, 186 and 482 visas offer you the opportunity to live in Australia permanently. Individuals who don't prefer to depend on an employer and wish to have more control over their visa should go for the skilled migration pathway since it qualifies them for a visa on the basis of their points. Do you want to know more about Australian migration? Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching.